Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel Indie do by Fafa Mi awezo lo Indie do by Fafa Nye ya Koba ndi doa en mi kwele Fafa Kama mi ndi do Nang blon Fafa Alaba flavor sa olu la ma Bala Indie doa vivi beautiful people it's friday yes it means i can now throw it down in the kitchen over the weekend but not until i show you a simple recipe that you can try today so here i've got my ginger that i'm charring if you've been watching this channel for a bit you know that when it comes to my natural flavors i love to enhance it so i've got my red peppers that i've charred as well i've got thai red chilies habanero chili garlic thyme onion and lemongrass so this is going to be an aromatic and equally spicy marinade yes mm-hmm So here I've got my dressed tilapia. Thanks to my fishmonger, he's descaled it, removed the gut, so I don't have to stress myself. All I have to do is wash it, and then using my knife to create this beautiful pockets by slanting it, as you can see. And the reason that I'm doing this is I'm just gonna be stuffing these little pockets and the crevice of the fish with my beautiful spicy marinade. It's as easy as one, two, three. And the best thing about the marinade is, once you make it, you know you can reserve it in your fridge and use it as and when a recipe requires it. And if you're not gonna be using it for that week, it's best to freeze it. And then of course, use it when you do need it. So I have to get my gloves here because this is a spicy thing, you know. Now this reminds me of one's childhood that one had to grind the peppers and gingers using the stone. So you had to grind all of this in that traditional manner. And especially on a hot day, grinding hot chilies. Oh, yeah, one has come a long way. Anyway, so yeah, we just, you know, filling every crevice of this fish and all the little pockets there. with this beautiful marinade as one does. So now I've got here my red peppers and my yellow peppers and onions that I've sliced, as you can tell. And I'm going to transfer that into my bigger clay pot. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my marinated tilapia over the vegetables so once it's grilling the juice that comes out of it would permeate through and go into the vegetables as well and it's an easy one pot dish as one two three now if this is your first time of watching this channel you're welcome I hope you click the subscribe button if you like what you see so far. Yes, and the notification button so you do not miss any new uploads. But then again, if this is your first time, you've got a lot to catch up on. Yes, absolutely. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Yes, thank you. And to my loyal subscribers, you guys, we love you for you. Thank you so much for your love, your kindness, your comments. Yes. Anyway, back to the cooking. So at this point, preheat your grill to 180 degrees so you're back from work this is a no fuss dish you know but it's equally good and i enjoyed this on its own i did not have it with anything else because of course the vegetables did work as my carbohydrate but you can serve it with anything so of course i've drizzled it with a little bit of olive oil but equally you can use coconut oil which works perfectly because oh that coconut flavor mm, yeah and add your salt to taste so now i'm also going to be adding some lime as you can see you can use lemon as well and that's going to grow and once this is ready i'll squeeze this over it and i'm done bish bash bosh mm -hmm. and once you place it in the grill so after about 25 minutes you'd have this beauty now tell me say your mouth no the water you know the jump ah this one day no be problem just go and get a fish Get the ingredients that you just saw and just treat yourself like the king and the queen that you are. 
we are alive, we need to eat well, we need to celebrate life, you know. And as I always say, look forward. Never look back, no. Just keep going, one foot in front of the other. And then, yeah, sit down and chop this well well. Now the question is, what will you serve this with? I mean, in Ghana, one would serve this with some hot akla and some raw pepper. You have can have with some fried yam, fried sweet potatoes, rice. I mean, anything that you want to serve this with would work equally well. Oh, but what about that amazing plantain brioche bread? Oh yeah, that would be so good with that, actually having a slice of that and then, you know, scooping some of the fish and then the peppers in the middle and that's a sandwich. Oh, that will be incredible. Now you see, this is not any other food. Oh. This is in Dubai Fafa. I hope I've given you that reason to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. Naturally, I'd leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. Now, if you need inspiration in terms of what else to serve this with, you've got these cocoa yam chips, yam chips, even try with some masa, yes, or pinkaso even. Yes, 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 yes. That's the creative cooking, isn't it? You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as Indudu by Fafa. So do pass by and say hi. Yes, absolutely. And Narelle, thank you very much for my theme song. And until next time, kings and queens and beautiful people of this earth, we love you for you. Take care of you until my next experience with you.